I see two areas of promise for gene therapy. Probably in the short term, what, what was going to be the greatest impact and probably very meaningful is to treat childhood genetic diseases for which right now there is no cure. And then longer term, as we become sort of more familiar with using vectors, it would be to treat more common diseases that really have an impact on broader global health. The goal of gene therapy is to replace genes that are broken, causing disease in patients. Transporting the genes into the body, getting them into the right place is really the key issue in gene therapy. The way we do this is taking advantages of viruses. We use the AAV vector to deliver the therapeutic into the body. An AAV vector is simply a set of proteins, 60 proteins, that form the shell, like an eggshell except there's 60 components to it. And the, the DNA that's in the shell has the right copy of the healthy gene and starts making the healthy protein, which could make the cell or the body healthy. The vector goes into the bloodstream, and if, for example, you're trying to get a gene into the liver, the vector interacts with the liver cells. It's taken up by the cells, and then once it's taken up, the outside of it falls apart, releasing DNA, which goes to the nucleus and repairs the cell that has the genetic defect. We approach the design of our vectors for different types of diseases differently. We can modify vectors and customize the surface of those vectors so they can go to different tissues within the body, different organs within the body. As we understand more about how to use gene therapy and gene therapy vectors, we may be able to use these genetic medicines to treat common diseases to have a real impact across lots of patients.